Um, hi, everyone. My name is Diogo. I'm a software tester. But today, I'm not going to talk about tech. I'm going to talk about purpose or fulfillment. Uh, and I know that this is a very <laughs> tricky and subjective topic. But hopefully, I'll share my lessons learned during my journey. And it will also be useful to you. So let's start uh, with my story. Uh, you can't see, but there's a hole here in the chest. Uh, <laughs> believe me. That was how I was feeling at the time, like something was missing. Um, I had this simple routine of just eat, work, sleep, rinse and repeat. Uh, so in a way, I was alive, but I was not actually living. And for me, and again, this is subjective, in my case, I need to have some kind of long-term goal, uh, call it purpose, something that I'm walking towards every day. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm wasting my life and my time. So I didn't have that at the time, but I had a lot of questions in my head. Uh, questions like, uh, what are my personality traits? What motivates me? All that. Something as short yet as complex as, what is success? So all of these questions in the back of my mind, and I thought, well, I need to do something about this. I need to find some answers. The thing is, I'm an engineer, I'm a very objective person, and engineers don't compute well emotions. <laughs> so this thing of purpose and fulfillment and human psychology, it was all pff, very meta, very abstract to me. Um, but I had to do something. So I did what Portuguese do best, I improvised. Um, hashtag Zenrasquete. So my first approach was to go online looking for answers. Uh, it totally failed. So at the same time, uh, I had a friend that gave me a piece of advice. She said, you already have the answers you're looking for within you. You just need to find the right tools or people to reveal those answers to you. I know that this sounds a bit mysterious, like something a, a sensei at the top of the mountain says and then vanishes. Uh, but turns out she was totally right. So I switched my approach. And instead of looking for answers online, I started looking for challenges, questions, surveys, really anything that would either structure or guide my thinking, or maybe change my perspective, or even change the questions. Because let's be honest, when you start with a question like, what is success? It's so wide, it's so open that you have no idea where to start. And then you get analysis paralysis, and you do nothing. So I followed her advice, and I started look, doing those exercises, different kinds of exercises. Um, I can highlight one, the one that was, well, most insightful for me was, the challenge was simple, was just looking into the past of my life, then make a list of all the major events that happened, and then try to find patterns, and hopefully extract some meaning from those patterns. And I did find some patterns, more than I was expecting, uh, and it was also curious because it connected with, uh, connected, with uh, the famous talk from Steve Jobs, Connecting the Dots, where he says, it's only when you look backwards that you can make sense and really connect the dots. Because when you're in the present, it's, life is crazy and you don't notice things. Um, so that's what I did. I did several kinds of exercises. And at the end, I learned a lot about myself. I answered things like uh, how I deal with expectations, both personal and also exterior expectations, what motivates me at work, what makes me happy, what drags me down, and I was able to, and I think this was the most important one, to answer that question of what is success, because I created my own definition of success. And I think that's really important because for two main reasons. One is it gives you that light at the end of the tunnel, something that you can pursue every day. But it also acts as a guiding light when you need to, if you need to make a decision, you can always, since you have it, since you have it now, you can ask your definition of success if it makes sense to do it or not. So like a simple example was, Andre invited me to come to bar camp. And I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I should go or not. So I asked my definition of success, if doing that was aligned with my values, with my pursuit of success. And it was, so I came in and that's why I'm here today. Because otherwise, you should just say no and save that time to do something else that is more useful to your priorities. So you can ask, well, now that you know all this thing about yourself, the universe, and everything in between. Now you know everything. Is that the end? No, it's not. It's more like the, the start. It's more of a beginning. Because all these 
information and insights that I got about myself. This is all before I had nothing. So now I have this theory, this hypothesis of what fulfills me. Because like I said, this is all very subjective. And this is me analyzing my own life. So it's totally biased. So now I need to put all these insights that I got into practice and see if they really make sense, if they are really what fulfills me and what motivates me. And it was also not the end for me because this was such a rewarding experience for me that I thought, well, maybe there are other people that would like to do a similar journey and they were like me, they don't know where to start. So I wrote this small ebook, which is just a summary of the 14 exercises that I used for my journey. And this table is basically the summary of that. So as you can see, there are all kinds of exercises. I try to rank them subjectively in terms of efforts from snail to rabbit, like in terms of how much time it takes, and also in terms of insight. And since we're talking about patterns, one that was not surprising was that the exercises that take the longest are usually the ones that give you the most insight. So it's just a, a heads up for you. If you try to do them, um, just keep calm, carry on, because it will pay, uh, pay off at the end. So that's it. Uh, this is the cover of my book. Now you know the meaning behind the visual elements of the cover. And that's the URL where you can download the, link, the, um, the book. It's entirely free, so there are no excuses. And spoiler alert, spoiler alert, you will not find any answers in the book. You'll only find questions. And the reason is because you already have the answers. You just need to reveal them. And that's it. Thanks for listening.